Here's another sound I like to show a lot, and this one's called Can You Dig It? Now, this is a really hip sound. Uh, it has a couple of supernatural things going on. In the left hand, we have the acoustic bass, which I'm going to turn off the arpeggio uh, right now so you can actually hear. So we're getting a lot more expressive than ever before, and in this particular sound, you really hear the behavior modeling. So depending on how I strike the keys, it really affects the sound of the acoustic bass. Now on the uh, right hand over here, we actually have two more engines going on. We have the uh, muted trumpet, uh, and also the supernatural piano. I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn off the muted trumpet right now and just let you hear the piano. So this is using uh, no samples. This is using our supernatural technology and if I was to press the edit button here and go in and press edit here again you can actually go ahead and adjust the piano, the string resonance, uh, the key off resonance, you know, the stereo width, you know, even the nuance of the room. That's something that's really nice that's taken from the V piano technology. All right, so let's exit out of here. And now let me t go ahead and turn the mute back on, and I'm going to turn off the supernatural piano. Uh, check out this, this muted trumpet. <laughs> It even reacts when I uh, press on the keys, uh, the aftertouch kicks in. So I'll go ahead and hit a note, and I'll lean in to the, to the key, and you hear it react. Now check this out. If I were to do a trill, normally on a keyboard, if you do a trill, it's going to sound like this. But on the Jupiter 80, if I just hold down one note and hit the next one, it'll sound like a natural trumpet would. Now check this out. If if I go ahead and use the pitch bend modulation wheel, if I use the pitch bend, listen to the sound of the trumpet. So just like a real trumpet, you can hear the partials of the note. So if I'm playing an F, for example, I'd hear everything that's all the partials that exist on the first valve as I lip up. And I just leaned forward on the mod wheel, and, and I was able to get a little bit more emphasis. Now, check this out. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the supernatural piano in combination with the muted trumpet and listen to the sound that I get now. I'll go ahead and play a chord. Now, if you notice, I'll play the chord, but the trumpet only stays. It, it's going to stay on the top of my chord. even when I do a trill. Very, very hip. So let's take a listen to this sound uh, together with the acoustic bass. And on this particular sound, which is A16, can you dig it? There's an arpeggio in the left hand with the acoustic bass. So if I, I can go ahead and just hit the F down here. We have a really cool uh, arpeggio going. And we can play right on top of it with my right hand. That's pretty cool, but I always like to turn off the arpeggio so you can be a little bit more free with your left hand. So you can actually walk the bass however you want. Now, another real nice thing to notice in the behavior modeling of the Jupiter 80, when I strike the keys, you hear the piano and you hear the trumpet on the top end. But notice, depending on how I release the, the chord, if I just release it like this, it's very nice and clean. But if I roll my hand to the left a little bit, it's like the trumpet player letting go of the note when he lets go, like a little fall. 
So like, check out this example. Uh, let's do a little bit of uh, all blues. Very, very hip sound. So that sound is A16, Can You Dig It? So no, uh, whenever you're in a store, check that sound out. It's, uh, it's actually one of my favorite. I like to do the Night in Tunisia with this one. So. <laughs> So that's actually a, a very good sound. So check that out. And that's using the supernatural piano, supernatural acoustic bass, and also that uh, supernatural muted trumpet. Uh, really, really fun sound to play.